Hello there everybody! If you missed my first video, my name is Havoc and my channel focuses on creating in-depth guides and reviews for strategy games such as, well, Crusader Kings 3. I'm back with another tutorial in collaboration with Paradox Interactive. I've covered vassals and domains so far, and today I'll go over a resource you'll need just a little bit of, money. Without money, you won't be able to effectively run your empire, and in this video I will go over the several ways you can make money and how you can spend it. As always, let's dive in. Money flowing in. When it comes to income, there are three constants in your empire that contribute to it, which can be broken down when you hover over the money tab at the top of your screen. The first is your domain, that is, all the lands that you personally own. Domain income will pay the most of what the barony or county generates as you are the complete owner of said lands. With that in mind, it is a good strategy to focus on your own domain when you want to build a building as you will see the biggest return on investment. To see a detailed breakdown of what your county is making, click on the ribbon of your county or go to the Realm tab, then over to Domain. Hover over your income and you'll be presented with a simple breakdown of your income sources from your buildings and any negative or positive influence percentages that affect the total number, such as local events or your stewardship level, something to keep in mind if you own a lot of land yourself. However, Due to the rather static nature of the domain limit we discussed in the last tutorial, you will need to rely on vassals for expansion and income growth, which leads to the next constant, vassal taxes. Vassal taxes are of course the taxes generated by all of your vassals, and each one provides a percentage of their own income to their liege. This percentage is modified by a handful of factors, heavily from vassal contracts, buildings within their own domains, as well as the development and control ratings of their counties. There are also several events and characteristics, but these are the least controllable factors to their tax collection. The third constant, church holdings, I will admit is not a guaranteed constant, as I will explain. Church holdings are taxes paid to you from the holder's realm priest, who leases out any temple holding in your domain. This is only possible if your faith has the theocratic clerical tradition. Any faith with the lay clergy tradition does not acquire taxes from temple holdings as these are personally owned by the holdings owner. But wait, there's one more. They aren't mentioned in the top money breakdown, but your steward by default has his counselor task set to collect taxes, which, based on his or her level, can provide a decently hefty boost to your overall tax collection percentage, and it is well worth having a high level steward in your council at all times because of this. Just when you thought I might be done rambling on all the ways to make money, there are the non-constants. Looting and ransom during war is one of the best ways to gain some extra cash. When taking over a holding, there's an associated loot number that you'll get when the siege is over. Whether fighting in battles or taking over key holdings, you are bound to gather some prisoners. These prisoners can then be ransomed for various amounts of gold, depending on how important they are to your enemy. Money going out. All that money coming in doesn't really matter if it's all going right back out. There are three main factors in money going out and you can control all of them fairly well. Buildings are the more simple of the first two. They have their entire cost up front, though they often take years to build. Once complete, they will generate whatever benefits you see from the description, which almost always involves money, even if it's just a small amount. Your military is a tad more complex, as military units have two maintenance costs one for when your armies are not raised, and one for when they are. Levies, thankfully, do not cost a penny when they are not raised. You could have 100,000 levies at your disposal, and it wouldn't hit your wallet at all during peacetime. However, the moment you raise your armies, they will incur a monthly maintenance fee for as long as they are raised. Men-at-arms are a bit different. For starters, they require gold to even recruit, as these are more professional soldiers, not just common folk. Once recruited, they will have an unraised maintenance fee per month. That maintenance fee is exactly one third of the price from its raised amount. This is extremely important to consider at all times. You may feel like you can support a large number of men at arms during peacetime when the money is rolling in, but the second you raise your armies, you will be hit with three times the money from your men at arms on top of the levies. To see your military's monthly maintenance in peacetime and war, click on the military tab and look at the bottom of your screen. The monthly maintenance in red is your current amount, raised or unraised. The max below it is what you will pay when all armies are raised and how long you can support your armies with the current amount of gold you have. Keep in mind the average war in CK3 can last years, even in the early campaign, so knowing how long you can support your army is indeed 
crucial. And lastly, for expenses, titles. Titles can be created when you own enough lands to de jure claim it. Titles will always cost you gold, and the cost goes up the higher the title. However, creating a title will give you the prestige as well as a Casas Belly claim on any of the lands under that title that you don't currently own. That about wraps up this tutorial on money in Crusader Kings 3. I have one more tutorial on my list going over technology and its function in the game, so stay tuned to the channel in the near future. As always, subscribe to Paradox Interactive's channel for more videos on Crusader Kings 3. This is Havoc, and I'll see you in the last video.